spiritual work is not a game. I know there's a lot of people out here, you know what I'm saying, that be hitting me up for spiritual work and they be telling me, oh, I did my own spiritual work. You know, so, you know, let me, let me explain something to you. Because, you know, sometimes you can tell a client uh, what you got for them and, of course, they try to basically do it themselves and when you bring the same thing up to them, they turn around and tell you, oh, uh, I did that already. Listen, if you knew what you were doing, you wouldn't be here talking to me. So I got to make some mistakes to y'all people is this, man. It's like, listen, when you come to a spiritual work, it's obviously you can fail. You say, let me explain something. I know some of y'all actually got homemade haircuts before. There's a difference between a homemade haircut and a haircut you get from a barber. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? When you go to get a homemade haircut for your moms, or your, for your, you know, for your moms, you got little patches in your hair, you know what I'm saying? So when you go to a professional, you get it done the right way. You know what I'm saying? You, you know what I'm saying? You got your, you know, nice shape up and all that, you know what I'm saying? So you look good. You know what I mean? It's for the hands of a professional. You know what I'm saying? So when you're talking about spiritual work, there's a lot of people out here that think, you know what I'm saying, they're doing it right. Listen, there's so much involved with spiritual work. You know what I'm saying? Everybody does things differently. And I mean, I've actually heard people talk about, you can read up about Haitian voodoo magic. You know what I'm saying? Listen, man, there's no way you can actually read up about that. You gotta have a lot of experience. You have to have decades of knowledge. I mean, not even just decades. You know, you can just be someone that's basically blessed. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, blessed for the position where you can actually learn from someone that knows what they're doing. You can't just pop up out of here and read a couple of books and just do this type of stuff. No, this is how you invite destruction into your life. You know I'm saying? This is not a game. A lot of people think that they can just wake up and just basically do this stuff and it doesn't work like that. You know? I, I get calls a lot, you know, when people think that they can just wake up and, you know, they can just, you know, say that I, I'm going to do something. That's when you come to us with problems because you tempted to do something that you knew, that, that you had no pl had no business doing. You know I'm saying? This is not a game. You got to take, you know, young people got to take this thing serious. You know, it's something that really pisses me off too. You know, and I think it pisses off all spiritual workers. When a spiritual worker throws something at you, like prime example, a, a spiritual worker may say, I'm going to do a honey jar for you. Now you turn around and be like, I did a honey jar for you. Are you, you know what, I'm not going to curse. I'm going to say this. There's so much involved. Everybody can make their own honey jar different. Like for me, my honey jars are to the point where my honey jars are in a facet where if you don't come back to your lover, you're going to get fucked up. I don't know if y'all guys have actually had honey jars that basically put people in the hospitals, but my honey, my honey jar will put a person in the hospital if they do not come back to their lover. Everybody makes their jars different. Everybody makes their candle, combina candle combinations of oils different. Everybody makes candles different. And it all depends on if it works or if it doesn't. So if you're inexperienced, you don't know what you're doing. You can actually do the ad you can actually have the adverse effect that you're looking for. So that said, I will put this video. Leave this work into the hands of a professional. And please, if you attempted some stuff and it didn't work, please don't say that you know how to do certain shit. You know, when you talk to a spiritual worker, because you're only gonna piss the spiritual worker off. Because you're basically in that basically a spiritual worker and taking it as though you're basically um saying that you don't need them or you know what you're doing. You come to us for help. Humble yourself, you know what I'm saying? So that said, I'm gonna finish my goddamn breakfast.